Coming up on today's show, we take a look at Rumble in the Jungle highlights and for more information on gifts for Valentine's Day. Good afternoon, Oviedo. I'm Brianna Babona, and today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. Let's check out this week's TeleHS question. Hey, Oviedo. I'm Savannah here with this week's question on Twitter or Instagram. This weekend is Valentine's Day. Tell us about someone you care about, a friend, family, significant other, or etc., and why they're special to you. Reply to this post or use hashtag TellOHS and you can see your response on the broadcast at the end of the week. That's it for me. Let's get back to the studio. Oviedo High School, it's Dr. Daniel and Coach Waters. I'm here to present to Coach Waters the 2020 Girls Bowling Coach of the Year for the state of Florida. Congratulations. Thank you. This past week, we had Rumble in the Jungle, where boys and girls lacrosse faced off to see who was better. Let's head over to Ryan for the highlights. On Wednesday, February 3rd, the Oviedo High School Boys and Girls Lacrosse programs faced off for the annual Rumble in the Jungle fundraiser in preparation for the regular season start. The Rumble in the Jungle, it's a great fundraiser that we've been doing for over a decade. It's great for both programs. It gives our boys an opportunity to go out there and have some fun. Uh, and, and the girls, you know, they get to humble our guys a little bit. They come out here, uh, they, they, show us, they show us what they're capable of. You know, our boys have to adjust to the new rules on the fly. Uh, both programs benefit from it financially, and uh, everybody has a good time. Some real quality goaltending going on right now. The game is played under the girls' rules and the team's switch sticks. Both boys and girls have similar guidelines to follow, but the main differences are the rules regarding contact. The rules for girls lacrosse are created to limit contact among the players. The Roaring Lion Empire is selling Valentine's Day balloons until Thursday, February 11th. The sales are online using the link below. They will be delivered on Friday and available for pickup. Valentine's Day has always been a special day to spread your love and appreciation to your friends, family, or partners. This year, Roaring Empire is selling plenty of items that you can give to your loved ones. So our Valentine's Day event is actually pretty big for our students and their Roaring Land Empire. Um, in the past, we have sold balloons, but this year we've added two new departments to our Roaring Land Empire. We have personalized creations where we're going ahead and making shirts. Uh, we make cups. We personalize anything um, to our customers' wants. Um, we also have the wreath department with Mr. Rice's class, um, and then we still have the balloons. The Roaring Empire is taking pre-orders now through their emails, Instagrams, and etc. The sale of their items is already going on and goes on all the way up to Valentine's Day. So you can click on the QR code that's on the flyers around campus and displayed at the kiosk, or you can just come up to the kiosk and order with our iPad. Also, not only is this a fun Valentine's event, the money and work helps benefit the Warring Empire. The profit for the event goes straight back into our Roaring Land Empire. It's a great investment for our students to be able to get more materials. Um, and not only are they gaining valuable job skills for independence after high school, but they are satisfying the requirements for their career preparation course, which is a course they work towards for graduation. So all in all, it's a great opportunity for our students working for those job skills. Come down to the kiosk in the lunchroom to buy stuff for the sale before it's too late. And let's paint the, the school red and pink for Valentine's Day. Come visit us at the kiosk. That's all we have for you today, Oviedo. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. And as always, go Lions!